And we're back to another episode of Let's Play Wild Arms Alter Code F. I'm your host, Nick Legato. Strange having some kind of awkward lag issues there. Right away. Ugh. Maybe one of these days, huh? Let's go ahead and put on a defense bonus for Rudy. That'll help from him getting beat up all the time. He's already blocking and defending other characters. He actually has enough space we can put other stuff on him if we really want to, but most of his stuff's just status effects and elemental stuff, so... I honestly don't care. We picked up the Blue Virtue, don't worry about that, that's just a questing item. We also picked up PS Ice Break 2 from one of the chests, another elemental thing. And then we picked up the um, special clip Gatling Raid. In my opinion, it's probably Rudy's strongest ability. It pretty much gives him a boosted attack and lets him empty out the clip of his arm into his opponent. So in two turns, you can pretty much release a na very devastating attack. So that's part of, you know, how that's going to go. How that plays itself out. It's a neat um, trick as, as Rudy's uh, abilities get stronger. That's definitely our boss slayer. And we learned from Owen here of a place called Rosetta. Nice. Uh... We also need to talk to someone else. I know somebody else in this town gives us the location of another place we gotta go to. And I forget who it was. I know it's a guy. So I know it's not her. It's a dude. I think it's... Maybe it's in here? No, that's not him. I don't think he tells us. Yeah, that's Dan. He's not gonna tell us crap about crap. Let's go ahead and keep moving. And... I forget who it is. It's not up there. It's either it's a character on the dock or it's a, maybe in here. Now this is the person with the miniatures. Not that we care, but... Who, made, who said it's growing? That's a puzzle box girl. Okay, still, that's not who we're looking for. We will be doing puzzle boxes too, by the way. We've got some odds and ends to to catch up on, so we will do these things. Where is that character? Not there. His name is, I think, Lionel. And Lionel. Not Lionel, it's really Lionel, but whatever. <laughs> nice, I, I jump from one building to the other! Where is he? That's Norman. I don't care about Norman. Maybe this? One of these was the inn. Maybe I just didn't see him. Maybe Lionel's really a chick. Nope. Guys can't take me anywhere. I always forget stupid fundamental shit like this. Where was that one character? It's Claudia. That tells me a whole lot of nothing. Where's Lionel? You know some guy's probably like, dude, he's right there with the dog. <sighs> Fuck it. Well, there he is. Uh, how embarrassing is that? Alright, well, let's get on to the, our ship here. 25! Level 25 is the lucky number for us to get to, and there's a reason for that, and I can explain a lot of that to you. Um, we've got a ship, okay? There are enemies out in the wild of the, in the wild blue sea that we need to worry about, but actually what's really out there is a mega apple. Okay, they're really cool. When you have Migrant level 6, they're the only enemies that show up on green in green in, a, in the green color. But one thing you have to consider is that the only way you can get hit the Mega Apple, because it has such high uh, re reaction time, you have to get Jack to level 25 and put PS, uh, the PS Advanced skill on him. That way he can use Accelerator and a... Uh, and, a uh, and then a MP-based attack on his next turn as soon as on his turn and then you'll instantly give it and get Mondo XP. So those are things you may want to consider. But right now, we've got some puzzle boxes to do. So let's go ahead and start heading out into the blue yonder. Fight battles. You definitely want to fight some battles out here. Okay, not right now, but we will eventually. Um, that was probably it, too. Not that I can do much about it. I'm not high enough in the level to warrant facing one. Um, as we're heading this way here. Doo -doo 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 -doo. Obviously you're gonna fight a battle. You can't go into the light blue areas, so don't try. As we are throwing the battle against 
with a crab bubbler. Analyze it, and then we'll finish it off with a speed fang. Go ahead and use Jack's MP. We could always stop at the nearest town and recover. It's the nice thing about sailing in a boat. Oh, yes, and anytime I get a boat, I'm on a boat! We got a motherfucking boat! It's weak against Thunder. Who would have thunk it? Uh -oh, he used quick. Not good. Yeah, now he's gonna evade pretty much Rudy's attack here. Oh, actually, Rudy got it. Too bad he's still standing. Um, let's go ahead and hit him with Thunderbolt of Lightning. Um, we won't need to use an MP attack at this juncture. No reason to. And really what I should be doing, since I am using this time to traverse the world here, I should be using Jack's higher MP costing skills and then just going to the nearest town, but it's more efficient per episode to do what I'm doing now. Considering he's about to level, we'll use all of his MP in the next uh, battle, I guarantee it. Alright, let's keep sailing. It's hard to see because I'm trying to get the coordinates just right. But what we're looking for... Uh... Really, up here. I don't even know what I'm doing anymore. It's up here. And ta da! We get ourselves a puzzle box! Yeah. So now that we found the puzzle box, this should be the second puzzle box. Because you notice I said earlier we had to do them out of order. Yes, this is it. So obviously, we are now going to do puzzle box. We're also going to do puzzle box number three. So if you already know where they are, and you're actually playing along, go ahead and uh, skip right to it. But until then, do nothing of the sort. Um, now this is a tricky one, in, in a small way. In a small way. It's not hard, but it's all based on timing. So we need to push the red block north. I think that should be fine. We need to push this up. One, and we'll put you there. Yay! This is there, this is one of the preemptive um, ones, and then when you're done, kerblamo! Oh, wait a minute! Oh, I screwed up! Fail! Oh man! I knew it! I knew it! I knew I screwed the green one up. So that's what I get for doing it so fast. All right, well I'll correct myself this time, boys and gal. It's what I did. I forgot to move the green block one square to the other side. So we'll fix that this time around. How about that? See, my memory isn't always that good if I can make that simple of a mistake. Put you there. We'll put you... This is where it's supposed to go. And then you move the blue block here. This is why it's only a one star. It's not a very difficult puzzle. Now that we've done it correctly. Correctively. <laughs> Victory is us! Alright. There's actually another way to solve that puzzle, too, but that way for me is most effective. I'm just really doing these in order, too, guys, so... You know, I'm doing puzzle boxes now, and I could be looking for other stuff out in the world, because we gotta do some item searching while we're out on the world map. But I figure I do this first. The Memoirs Pen. So not a great item, but it's still an item nonetheless. And the next puzzle box will be puzzle box number three! Um, and really, I know, I remember where this one kind of is. It's southwest of Port Timney, so if you look where Port Timney is in relationship to where we are, okay, we've actually got to go a bit, it, it's a bit out of the way. I'm going to avoid that battle for now. It's a bit out of the way for us, so we'll have to work our way over there. La 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 battle! Probably against the same enemies we've been fighting. Not that I really care. Oop, we got a Hooter in there too! <laughs> Hooter. An Oc- an Aki Pete. Okay. Well, we're gonna face Aki Pete in a very specific way. We're gonna analyze him. So what I should do is Gatling Raid you. Analyze you. No, 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 I lied. Will Rudy have Rudy snipe bullet him? Have you analyze him? And then you, my good friend, can use the speed fan on the crab bubbler for now. And let's get this 
show under underway here. Pretty much a straightforward battle whenever learning something. I mean, I don't care if the Octopete steals something. We should be able to kill it by the time it gets a turn in using Jack. I just want to make sure I hit the freaking thing. Though I think that canceled out my Analyze, didn't it? I think so. Because he gets to his turn faster. Yeah. Oh, son of a bitch. Well, that was a waste, wasn't it? But at least we know. At least we are prepared for failure. Let's go ahead and hit him with the... Actually, what I should do. Guard, guard. And a cute breaker. And we'll make him do that twice. Chop, chop. And if he's still standing, which he's not, I was going to do it again, but... For shame. Sickness gas de trap detected. Huh? Uh, so you're one, I'm going to take somebody with the best luck. We'll take Jack. And he opens it safely. So luck has a lot to do with opening those chests and stuff. So we get a Gimmel coin. Yay. Just a little dude. I have for our trouble. Right, let's keep moving here. Like I said, we're heading towards Port Timney is where we need to go. And we know for a fact it's around. We're almost to it. Okay. Let's see. We should be almost to Port Timney, right? There. Okay, we're almost there. And once we get there, we've got some searching to do. Um, which is puzzle box number three. So it's we're looking obviously for. Let's just skip that for now. I really just want to find this beach. We're looking for a beach. The beach that we've not been able to reach before. Okay. So let's see. We're at Port Timney. Should be a weird little beach. Oop, wait a minute. We're poisoned, aren't I? Yeah. Let's remove that poison, shall we? Yay! Should be around here. We disembark. And... Ta-da! Puzzle box number three. Always a cool find, huh? Pretty cool when you can find a lot of this very awkward stuff. So let's look at puzzle box number three. It should be number three. Okay, yeah, I'm not, I haven't lost my mind yet. But ironically, we'll actually have a whole bunch of puzzle boxes in a row done. First time we've done that in actually in some time. In quite a bit of time. Now this puzzle box is a little different. Um nothing important that needs to be done here. But we do need to drop down. And let's go to this green block here. And really. I need to pull it. Yeah, well, actually, I did it wrong here. Let's just do it like this. It'll work just as well. And this should get rid of a lot of boxes. Now we're down to just a handful. Luckily, this isn't freaking science, okay? This shouldn't be science. It's pretty straightforward how this is going to play itself out. I mean, there's, there's no way you could really screw this up. Um... You can even make it collapse on itself if you really wanted to, but who cares? Just get it done. Okay. See, easy puzzle box. It's just which color are you going to use to get rid of the... Finish the puzzle off first. And ta-da! The puzzle is cleared! Not a very hard puzzle box, guys. Not at all. Well, now that we've wasted time doing that, we can go collect our prize. Who doesn't want to do that? Okay, let's go and collect the prize. The bonuses! I see. So we get a boom break too. Yay! I think that's a mixed one. Don't really care. Probably against non-elemental crap. Alright, now we get the luxury of finding us a lot of world item stuff. No, not right now. Um, which is always troublesome, and you guys know this takes me a while because I suck at it. Let's go ahead, while we're over here, we can actually... We can't go much further than this, can we? So, huh. Let's go ahead and get us some world treasures. There's actually stuff on the world map for us to grab in the in the ocean, I believe. Okay. So... Oh, jeez. Uh, um, oh, another battle. Okay, so while we're traversing here... 
Since I used all of Jack's MP, I'm going to definitely go into Port Timney here and recover. Because who would not want to do that? So let me go ahead and save and heal, and then we'll get back to more searching. Okay, so let's go and move a little bit. There we go. So the first one, I want to say... Well, let me, let me look at my map a bit. I want to say... Nowhere near it, probably. I mean, it's not going to hurt me to skip it. Holy crap, look at that! <laughs> I found a puzzle box that I probably can't reach right now. That's hilarious. Oh, when time comes to go to it, we'll go to it, guys. But <laughs> that's funny. Well, here's one of the items in question. I need to grab the damn thing. There's a bottle. Appears to be something inside. Heal berry. So we get ourselves a heal berry. Now we will fight some battles this time around. So you can even find stuff on land if you're screwing around like I was. Um, the next item is going to be a little bit away for us. But this is that battle I think I was talking about earlier, guys. Here he is, the Mega Apple, who will have a turn so fast there's nothing we can do about it. Unless he does actually slow down, but highly doubt it. We can try to speed fang it, but he's going to get away every time. Just know when we hit level 25, especially when Jack hits level 25, we can move the SP over. The SP, um, I'm sorry, the FP advance over and make it so we can actually hit it and kill it and get mad experience. Because like I said, guys, you get a lot, so there's no reason not to partake. Um, so we found the heal berry. Let's, we need to get up pretty high in our numbers here. Oops, I'm not. I'm just not in the right place. We got to get out of this little area here. We'll have to fight some battles now. Okay, as we're sailing here, now we're going the right way. We need to get out into the big wide world of ocean. The big wide world of ocean. And really, we're just heading pretty far to the north. As far north as we can probably take ourselves. Probably into that little outlet over there on the on the left. You'll see it when we get there. Okay, let's keep moving. Sailing, sailing into a forced battle. Okay, killed him. Or them, rather. We should be coming up to what we're looking for here. Well, maybe not. Well, no, I see I'm in the wrong place again. Ugh, no, no battle this time. I, I did my math backwards. Well, no, I wait a minute. Yeah, I did. Bad math. Bad math. Well, there is an item somewhat where we are. Just a lot further south because I screwed up the coordinates a bit. We need to gain X coordinates by heading this way. We'll have to fight this one. Alright. Um... to raise this part to... We're almost to it. I'm just not... Ah, oh, that's that apple, but I can't hit... I know I can't hit it yet, so there's no point in wasting time farting around trying to hit it. it should be around here somewhere. Uh... Come on. There we go. I knew it was around here somewhere. This should be... Oh, come on, I need to actually grab the item in question here. Okay, it should be right in front of us. So let's grab it. And the captain of a merchant ship, no salty... Oh, god damn it, we know who this is from. Oh, good lord. Oh. Yeah, but it is something worth getting because, hey, you have it now. Huh. All right, now that we've wasted time farting around with that, let's go ahead and we need to get our coordinates closer to where we need to go here. By heading all the way... You can see I'm heading very far to the east here. Almost there. It's around here, actually, of all places. Okay, still couldn't hit him. Ha ha ha. I tried. This doesn't work without what I said earlier. Okay, so let's go ahead and grab us, whatever this is. It should be, um, sword swiped. 
Yep. So we received the medium sword swipe. Yay! Another thumbin! <laughs> Alright, now that we've done that, we have land items that we actually need to look for. And it comes up in certain areas, per se, and we'll go, we'll get to all that momentarily, but, you know, to each his own. Okay, so we've done that. Killed that battle, anyway. Um, I am so far out of disconnected from where I'm supposed to be going. <clears throat> we need to head all the way. We're going to start a very specific order here, since I'm kind of off in an area I didn't really want to be in right away. We need to head all the way over to where about X10. I know X and Y with the coordinates around X10,400, Y1100 or so. And really, that's going to be happening here, I think. Uh, well, maybe not. Hold on. We've been there before. Ah, another freaking battle. Okay, so killed him. Maybe it is over here. I'm just being an idiot. Yeah, it's got to be right here. I'm just being stupid. I could have sworn I would have found this item. I see. I wrote down, like I said earlier, guys. I wrote down coordinates of where stuff is. Well, I guess I, I haven't been here. Hmm, that's what I know. Eh. All right. Well, let's move um, as we start heading towards this desert here. Okay. Some of the enemies around here are a little harder than we are accustomed to, but it's not that they're harder, it's just different strategies. That and I had to look up what I was freaking fighting, so that didn't help either. But it was around here. Grr. And it's out in the desert here. Or not, because it's putting me in a weird position here. Uh, should be there. Yeah, there it is. Sweet. Let's keep moving. Skip that for now. Well, didn't even have to. I found something. Rosetta Town, <laughs> of all places. Um... Don't worry, we will do stuff here. I just don't need to do it right now. Um, as I'm looking for something. It's easy enough that I could avoid it. So it's still not quite where I'm looking. So it's making me go back. Not out in the middle of the desert, that's for sure. It's gotta be. It's gotta be. I'm in the wrong place. I now I know I'm. I'm, I'm thinking. I, I'm looking. It's like it's X1400. So I'm obviously in the wrong place. Can't take me anywhere. You pick up the small flower. Sweet. Still got other goodies to find. As you can see, I'm ignoring battles because I hate doing a lot of fighting when I'm trying to actually find things. Because it's, it's a pain in the butt. Still haven't really found everything that I'm looking for. Okay. Ah, damn it. That's right, Rudy got poisoned yet again! Deal with that. Uh, uh, um, looking at the world map kind of should give us an idea of where a lot of the things we're looking for can be located, though I'm not doing a good job of it. If you hadn't noticed. So let's get back in our ship, because I think the next place we need to go basically further down the y-axis so we've come that far as you can see I can head I don't want to fight right now I'm trying to figure this all out you can see a beach directly to the north of us that's pretty much where we've got to go so we'll see you there okay we're so close to getting to 25 I just I'm so eager you have no idea how happy I'll be when I get there because then we can fight mega apples and who doesn't want to fight those um, as we are item hunting yet again, we find another altar part. We've got a lot of these, and I still haven't used any of them. Keep in mind. Okay, battle is won. We're gonna get back to the ship here. Back to the ship! I don't need to fight any enemies here. Now we need to get to the Y coordinate 2000. And it's really this other beach here that we've yet to explore. We trip forward, right, guys? Um, it should be on this beach somewhere. We need to head. No, not right now. 
I'm busy. And we should find our final worldly item, the forest carrot. Now that we found that, I swear I'm so close to leveling, I almost just want to finish leveling and then fight a, uh, an apple just to show you the perks. Help if I actually turn the recording device on. Now that we're done, like I said, I'm going to pretty much try to get my party to level whatever I just said, level 7. Or level 25 since we're practically there. Okay. Well, we'll be going into another battle here. Okay, now that Jack has actually leveled up to an even higher level than he was, he's now 25, we can fight green apples and actually make fun and profit. But I probably want to head to Rosetta Town and heal up and do some other things while I'm at. Okay, let's keep moving. Get off our ship. And we know, we should know, that, um, stay out of the desert. <laughs> that Rosetta Town is located here. Now this is a town that we're here a little prematurely, but not by much. Well, actually, I don't even think that that's a true statement. I think we're here fine, right on time. Um, first things first, where is that stupid merchant? Who sells the goods in town? Where is he? There he is. Actually, this is probably accurate because we get which episode number four for 10 G's. Oh, I farted and it was glorious. Um, we don't need to, I don't think we'll need to do anything with, um, I don't think we need to do anything. Well, I'll think about it. Hold on. I'll think about it. Let's just leave it at that. Let's go ahead and throw that out. Obviously nothing. So now we get the luxury of going health by health. <laughs> Anything in here? Yes, there is. If you can hide from me, Potion Berry, you fought wrong. As there's not much really for us to do here. I mean, this is a nice town to visit. We actually learned the location of the giant's cradle here. So I guess that is pretty important. As I collect the goods! Oh, wait a minute. I can't collect the goods. Or can I? <laughs> I forget the, the assist blitz, so let's take a look at it. Supports forward party members attack. Mm. Don't care. Don't care indeed. Um, it's not really what I... What it does is it, I think it sacrifices your current turn to push another character's turn forward. Not something I really care about. I, I don't remember exactly how it worked, and I... If I don't remember how it worked, it means it wasn't important enough to really give a crap. Alright. Grabs us as a potion baddie! Um, while we're out and about... I think I need to go down there, necessarily. Well, actually, yes I do, because that's where one of the shops is. There is a thing that we do want to do. We're going to upgrade Rudy's arm in a very peculiar manner. Not peculiar, but very specific matter. Actually, this is not the right place. This is just the graveyard, which is a freaking pit in the middle of nowhere. Good move, boss. Whatever, we'll come back to there in a moment anyway. Trust me, it's all relative. What I should also be doing is talking to the people here because they will reveal the locations of places we actually need to go, so my the act of me not discussing things is actually making this a little harder here. We need to talk to all the people in town. <laughs> Just kidding. No, but we do need to talk to people here. So let's talk to you. You got anything important? We, we will find Giant's Cradle. Okay, thank you for sharing, numbnuts. Just head in here. Still haven't found the right store yet, though. Strange-looking statue. If I go, if I fall, my fall. Any goodies to be found in here? Of course not. But don't just assume there's nothing of importance just because we're not where we need to be. There is an L who lives southeast, you say. That's what we needed to know. So now that we've done all of that jazz, jizz, jazz, whatever, we're going to use the uh, healing... Th well, we don't really need to heal, do we? Because all characters leveled up, so we actually don't need to heal. What we do need to do is get to the damn arms store that I keep neglecting to get to. We've gotten all the information we need, so we just need to get to the arms store. 
which I think is this one. It's either this one or the one across the street from it. Okay, this is the end, so it's got to be across the street. Because I think I found everything. If I did, I'm pretty sure I found all the items here. All right, well, regardless, let's upgrade our arm. Now, this time, we want to get seven bullets, if we can afford it. Now, there's a reason for doing this, too, guys. That 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 blitz attack, or uh, his uh, newest uh, clip, is what's really going to be the Gatling Raid. That is literally why it is being done. Gatling Raid is our boss slayer. No joke, too. <clears throat> Always you get his FP up to 25 and use it with the uh, aim ability, his, obviously his FP skill, his force power skill. And just what he can do with that attack is devastating. Especially as he gets stronger and stronger. That's why we didn't go back to Aldehyde and pay more money to restore it. We have better means of doing that later. <clears throat> no joke though, you definitely want to do that. Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. There's one other thing, too. That I want to... There's, there's something I'm missing. That's why I'm sitting there going, I know there's something more to this. We need to do... Where is it? It's, it has to do with the inn. I know it does. We need to go... It, what was it? It's behind the inn and it's like a wall or something. And then we gotta use... I know it's back here. Is it here? Yeah, it's barely noticeable. Oh, I forgot something. It's just one of those things. It's like you just barely remember. Let's wake her up, shall we? <laughs> burn, bitch, burn! Just kidding. I'm not that bad, but I... I really can't remember who or where I am. Can you punch me? Might knock some sense into me. We, we can punch you. Uh, did I miss her? Yeah, I missed her. I just punched you, whore. Okay, maybe let's try this. Gerbil ammo! Okay. What the hell? The great person of the olden days. <sighs> okay, that was kind of pointless. I thought there was something to that, and maybe there is. I just I don't feel like digging through my paperwork to figure it all out. <clears throat> anyway, enough wasting time with weirdos. <laughs> Let's keep moving. Let's keep moving. As we now have two locations that are new to us, we're obviously going to go to the closer one, which is all the way, I believe, out here. I think this is it. If not, it's the other place. But I need you right now. I have better ways of gaining experience. Oops, then it wasn't over here. It was in the other... Oh, Jesus, what am I doing? It's on my map. Oh, good lord, you can't take me anywhere. No, I want to fight. I want to fight on the open sea, fools. This is all just side quest crap. As we head into the secret garden. The secret garden! As we're walking in nonchalantly like badasses. Oh yeah! What is this noise? Beautiful flower. Da 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 da! I have only seen a flower this wonderful uh, books at the Abbey. Never thought we, there were still places of a guy that could grow such a flower. You pets, well, holy crap. She's got ears. Where did you plant this? How did you plant this? Well, I use my own handmade fertilizer. I eat lots and lots of fiber and, well, you can figure out the rest after that. <laughs> oh, jeez. Insert Ares references now. <laughs> I 
I like... <laughs> Wait a minute, if he's gonna be ground-up fertilizer, that means somebody's gotta eat him. Believe you should be trying to go like that. Whatever. Yeah, that's right, you're not like me, woman. What we saw was a hologram of an elf. Why don't they just make elves? I mean, what's the point of making this complicated, hard-to-pronounce race? It's a little bit of everything, so seeing an elf who is a gardener wouldn't be a surprise to us one bit. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. One question. I learned at the Abbey that the elves were banished after the Great War a thousand years ago. Well, not all of them were nuts. Well, maybe she knows a little bit more about that. Oh, no. I wonder if she breeds asexually. <laughs> it's just such an ass. Derp, derp, derp. I'm here to rebuild the sacred planet. I found it. Okay, blah, blah, blah. This reeks Final Fantasy VII. Maybe this is where they got that idea. Oh, god damn it. Sue you? You <laughs> think they're evil twins? Yeah, it's Enos and his brother Penis. Sometimes being that second twin isn't always the coolest thing in the world. Oh, what a load of crap. Oh, come on, Rudy. You gonna take that from him? Rip him a new asshole. Shove your arm right up his colon and just finish him. Oh, as Jack, the bigger guy, comes in. The mayor of Rosetta. Oh, don't worry. He's not going to sue anyone for child abuse. You'll be dead. Oh, blow it. Oh, my God. May they burn in the third ring of hell for all eternity. Yeah, that's the next generation. I say that every day I wake up. And the people who know me know why I say that every time I wake up. Mariel and I don't know, I'm just lonely. Aww. Can we keep a wave? <laughs> I'd be happy if I could grow flowers as beautiful as yours. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's always more to it, isn't it? Always more. I believe a flower which can grow from a wasteland is as strong as it is beautiful. Okay, so you're you got the same goals as Jack. Huh? So what is this? Hmm. You don't say. This broken sword represents my brother's mistake. What? He hit himself with a hammer in the face? Yeah, whatever. It's growing flowers in the wasteland. Only a strong person could accomplish that, right? Right. I'm not strong. What a load of crap. Serious illness. Yeah, really. It's called Arnica, which is found in the southern woods. Can... Okay. Sounds like a plan. So I'll go up and pick up the arnica. <laughs> Sound right, all right already. Good lord. Ugh. Had to make a big deal about a frickin' herb. Because herb, herb, herb. The herb is the word. Herb, herb, herb. The herb is the word. Herb, 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 herb. Smoking herb is the word. Everybody, no. <laughs> all right. Now there's actually something I want to do, which I haven't been able to do yet because we have no frickin' control here. Okay, let's go ahead and use Rudy's radar as we will find two awesome items here. And that's not it. We find the floral arts, which I think is pretty, it's pretty cool. Um, it's something you definitely want to put, I think, on, I think it's Jack who benefits the best from it. We're not going to put it on yet. The effectiveness of berries is doubled. Putting it on Jack really helps when you need him to use his accelerator and you need him to heal somebody. 
because then you can use a weaker berry to do double the greatness and we get a mega berry to do double the healing or what have you so it's definitely cool when you have some free uh, free heal uh, free uh, skill points open We're right now I'm not worried about it okay as we now need to head literally to the south which was the forest I was looking through earlier. I knew it was one of those forests that had the stuff. Skipping battles for now. Like I said, I'm going to get my battles through uh, my experience through other means, I assure you. As we head to the Holywood Mound. Kind of looks like an L shrine. <laughs> Alright, well, whatever. Let's go ahead and head north. Examine you. And see what happens. Dun 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 dun. This is the healing herb Arnica. The boy's father will recover with this. Let's make this ours. The old place is getting boring. What a bunch of little butt nuggets. Oh god, not yet. Yeah. Jack, it's time. Rudy. <laughs> oh, bitch slap. Keep it up, I'm going to slap you too. Fix the old man's illness. Mario came to get it for him, and this is how you thank her. to sympathize if we, we can live together even if we are fighting right now someday. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And at the end of my journey, if I choose to fight, there can be no future. Blah, 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 blah. Oh, shut up, you little bastards. No, I didn't punch him. I slapped him. As I'm about to slap both of you again. Oh, shut up, you little butt nuggets. I hope that after restoring their father, the father rises from his bed, and the first act that he does is punch both of his children in the face, bend them over his knee while they're still dazed, and start spanking the hell out of them. Where's your old-fashioned discipline? No, you don't punch your kids. I'm just saying. You know, this is why kids, this generation of kids is just awful. And I say that openly. I remember when I was a kid, I used to get spanked with a wooden spoon and a belt, and my father used to punch me, like right in the right in the back of the head every once in a while when I do something stupid. He wouldn't punch me, punch me. He'd stiff arm me. You know, my mother. Oh man, she used to beat the crap out. No, okay, <laughs> maybe not beat the crap out of me, but oh, good old-fashioned discipline. That's what I say. Stupid kids. I don't know if his, their, their father deserves it. When I bring this herb to them, I will say openly and loudly, you're lucky I give this to you. Your children had been picking on this poor, sweet, innocent girl and beating her up day after day. Why should I give this flower to such a father who has two little bastards for children? I really hope that's how it plays out. Again, avoid the desert here because there is one enemy that will make quick work of you if you happen to run into it. So just avoiding battles works better. As we head back to Rosetta Town, yay! let's go ahead and drop off the flower of choice here. We obviously know where the sick man lives. Da 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 da. Okay. Believe you, my disease was caused by the elves. Oh, that's such a load of crap, Harvey. You blow it out your ass, you whiny little bastard. Blah, 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 blah. Yakety schmackety, blow it out your assity. Came to you with an open mind and an open heart, you should. Yeah, really. Geez, she came to you with, with the cure for your frickin' ailment. Who cares who gave it to you? And that's what I thought, you bastard. You 
rotten hell in the third ring of hell as we get more and more scenes yay we actually need to do a little bit of prep too before we leave as well there's things we gotta do so don't worry about it da 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 Blah 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 as she wanders off. Okay. Okay, so we need to make sure before we leave town we have 5,000 Gela on us. We're a little short, so let's make sure that we see the local Dingleberry here, and we need to make sure we need we need to absolutely be sure that we have 5,000 Gela. If it means selling a fucking Gela card. So be it. We shouldn't have to. We're only 300 short. So, and potion berries aren't really worth enough. I mean, have I got anything I'm willing to part with? Meh. Nah. Forest carrot, ambrosia. Level apple is definitely worth something. I could actually get rid of, like, some of these level 1 breaks. They're, they're not very useful right now, as we are getting level 2 breaks. And the level 2 breaks warrant grabbing and that actually gives us the, the amount of money that we really need um, now let's try to leave town as we don't actually get to leave town you'll see momentarily guys da 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 do you mean we've been you've been looking for us ah oh, great it's Jane and Ma Ma Magdalene? No. Yeah, Magdalene. I thought Magdalene was the name of Jesus' uh, or Mary Magdalene. Yeah. You know what? Somebody's going to get mad at me for saying that, but I, you know, I don't care. That's really, I thought that's what she was. That's how the Bible said it anyway. It's definitely what the Bible said it was. She was. She was. Maybe not his whore, but she was like a, I thought she was a... Never mind. I'm not gonna get into that. That's not. This is a let's play. This isn't. Uh, <laughs> this is not other. This is nothing other than that. Maybe he doesn't die after all. I have my doubts. So she tells us about this place called Volcanon Trap. Uh, yeah. Lost for a thousand years. Is that a point? Blah 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 blah. You're saying somebody intentionally spread the rumor. Huh? Then the whole ruins might be a trap. I agree. More bullshit. It doesn't matter how high the hurdle is. Da -da 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 -da. Okay. The trap is located to the north of the ship graveyard. On the, the, it must be well prepared, though. It feels like there's almost an evil there. Whatever. Jane and Magdalene join our party, which is good. You want to do this around now, but we're not quite done yet. This is gonna be another long episode like the last one, but we're not quite done yet. We can actually no. We can actually start some pretty cool stuff in the secret garden. All kinds of things we can do in the secret garden. We're not going to start a lot, but we're definitely going to start our heel berry growing. Because you can actually grow berries. What you necessarily need to do is choose gardening. Okay, I will choose gardening. Ta da! Let's improve the breed or harvest. Um, nothing to harvest. We need to. Now let's improve this breed the best we can. Pretty much what you want to do is use a lot of heel berries. By, and I'm serious too. I'm going to throw in tons of heel berries. Wish I could throw in more. Improved breed. And what it does is it consumes a heel berry in order to improve it. Um, I'm going to put in about 50 for right now. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to add a, a potion berry and a mega berry. That way I can breed them at my own leisure. I'm also going to add a force carrot, too, and a tiny flower. By doing so, I can actually grow, come back to this place every so often, every once in a while, and actually start harvesting these items as often as I want. So I'm going to go ahead and do what I just told you guys, um, as you can see here. And really, it's just a matter of doing this over and over again. And once I am do all of that, so you got to breed it. Okay, so I think when it's green, it means it's maxed out. Cannot upgrade the product any further. Okay. So we've done that. Let's do a potion berry. Let's do a mega berry. 
A revive fruit was the other one. Let's actually we can do one of everything. So let's get it all going here. We're not gonna grind. We're not gonna level up or raise the ability of anything else. No reason to. Okay, so now that I've done that, let's go to our gardening here. Let's. We don't need to grow heel berries. Okay, we really don't. I want to grow mega berries. I want to grow lots and lots of mega berries because mega berries are awesome. I want to grow lots and lots of force carrots. No joke. The more force carrot, the more you've invested into your force carrots, the faster they'll grow. We can buy. Well, we can't buy revive fruit, so let's grow some of those. And I'll probably grow at least one tiny flower. I don't give a crap about nectars too much. Um, let's grow another revive fruit and another mega berry and a tiny flower. So that's probably the best way to do this. I mean, this is a good way to start. And as we get more items, we will obviously be growing more stuff. You know, as we find items throughout the world map, you only really need 10 potion berries, 20 potion berries, 10 mega, you know, no more than five mega berries in your inventory. So, you know, as you find these things, you, you'll realize you need less and less. So here, now that we've done that, we obviously will be coming back some sometime in the late future. So in due course, we will come back. But now our next thing to do is to solve our money problems for a long, 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 long time. Um, so what we need to do is head to Aldehyde. So I will see you guys in Aldehyde. While I'm in transit to Aldehyde, there is a chance I may run into the Growth Apple Mega Apple uh, battle. If I run into that battle, I will show it to you guys. But I don't don't rely on it. So we'll see you back in Aldehyde. Okay. So now that we're in downtown Aldehyde area, here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna put Jane in for probably Rudy. Because Rudy's so slow, it's almost embarrassing. We'll leave Magdalene out. Here's what we we've got going. We've got to fight rat monkeys. Rat monkeys will actually drop. I mentioned it way earlier in the series that we need to pick this item up from rat monkeys, and they have a 25, 50% chance you can resistance to steal, and there's a 12% or so chance that you can steal a PSMP repair from them. We're gonna be stocking up for the winner, folks, and I ain't fucking around either. We're picking up arguably five of them. We could probably do fine with four for now. Or, no, we want to get five, because we're going to sell two of them and keep one for Jack and one for Cecilia. The other characters probably don't really need one right now, um, but it is something for us to think about. I might pick up a few more, but we're going to sell three and keep two. But we've got to actually fight this enemy first. So I'm going to wander around. Oh, here's a good example of one of those battles. These guys are so fast we can't hit them. Well, we can now. This is this works to the other the other apple that we saw earlier. So by all means, exploit the hell out of this tactic. But I do want to show you a, a scene of me trying to steal from one of these guys. As you can see, that's a lot of experience early in game. Imagine having that experience at the beginning of the game. So I'm gonna try and ignite a battle with some rat monkeys here, just to show you what enemy we're actually looking for. That way, once you see the said enemy, you will know that that's what we're stealing from. And hopefully, you know, one out of ten times, you're going to get that PSMP repair. And it's going to take some time. No joke. It's going to take you roughly an, maybe an hour to do this, maybe less. I've seen it done way faster. So it just, it just depends how long it's going to take. You know what? I showed you the enemy earlier. Use the triangle button if you're not sure what the hell the enemy's name is. But I am running out of time on this episode, guys. So this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to collect those PSMP repairs. Okay, five of them, minimum, because we can always come back later and get more as we need it. So, please be rat monkeys. There's some rat monkeys on the left. So, we're obviously going to use special, and we're going to use pilfer, and it costs MP to do it. And these level is, the easier it is to steal from them. Well, luckily, we've got a high level. We'll let Jack finish off the thing there. Pilfer! Not that we're going to get what we want right away. We stole a nectar, so you're not always going to get the item you want. This is why it takes a while to do it. When she runs out of MP, we're obviously going to go back to town, recover, and then come back. Oh, damn it, Cecilia. Why did you counterattack? I need to take that off her. Hopefully, we she killed the one I really wanted. Oh, no, no! Ow! 
<laughs> anyway, that's what we've got to do. So we'll see you on the next episode of Let's Play Wild Arms. We're going to be doing some humanitarian work with our, with our Gela, as well as some other neat things as well. We'll see you then.